So we start by going to our other wizard, uh, select our space dimension. Since we're dealing with 2D, we select a 2D space. Then we select our physics, go to our battery interfaces and select lambda battery. Then we go to heat transfer to select heat transfer in solids. Then we move to our steady to select a time dependent steady. So this brings us to our console interface where we will add our parameters. So we'll be loading our parameters from file. So we will use battery thermal, thermal 2D axis parameters. So this quickly loads our parameters from file. We'll include some, we'll manually include some parameters as well to this work to help build our geometry easily. So add in D, okay. sorry. This is the thickness of the battery canister. Be about 0.25. This is the battery radius, which is about 9 mm. This is the battery height, which is about 65 mm. This is the mandrel radius, which will be 2 mm. thickness of battery canister. Let's include the battery radius. Yes, going to include the battery height. And manual radius. So after adding, including these four parameters to our work, we can start building our geometry. So we add a set rectangle, our first rectangle, and the width of that rectangle will be the battery radius. The height will be the battery height. So we add layers to this work, to this geometry, this will be the we can, this will be each battery minus e can times two. There should be on the bottom for this. Okay, so we have this as shown in here. Then we'll add a second rectangle and the width of this rectangle will be uh, battery minus D. And we have this height, the battery, the layer first, the layer that will include is the mandra.
So if we should build this, this is what we we'll have. So we want this to be layers to be on the left side instead of on the bottom. So we have this, as you can see in here. And we'll form our union. We add the mesh control edges to Seventeen. This is ten. Zoom out. Okay. Okay, so we've added these to our control mesh control edges. Okay, so add extra suits. This is, it should be the battery, the battery can, and be the so it will be this keeping the selection on. Selected. Also, we add another explicit. Add another explicit to this, which will be the active battery material. Okay, that would be this and and okay, so you selected one for the battery can. Let's select two for sorry. Let's go back and select two for select two for 
the mandrel. I select this for the mandrel. Select this for the mandrel. And we'll add another explicit to so Okay, so this will be our active battery material. Okay, so we've been able to add all these selections to our geometry. Then we go to our variables. Variables, we're supposed to add the variable, which will be the applied current. Applied current, which we will name as B, that's one C times seven point five times W B one T slash We have T, this time is horizontal on 500. Okay. Yeah, I'll name this. Let's go to our parameters and look for our applied current in our parameters. Okay, so okay, so let's go back and yes, notice the. I dot dash okay. So we have this as our applied current, then you add.
when we prove we'll term the mean temperature this is the mean t and the average and we want this to be the active battery and one expression is to be t minus t Okay. And we'll add another domain probe. That'll be the maximum temperature. The maximum will be the active battery. So yeah. Okay. Now we want a domain probe of the minimum temperature. The minimum temperature. Using mean T, that will be the active battery, and this is T minus T initial. Okay. So after adding, now that we've added, uh. We finish drawing our geometry, find our variables. We can add our material to our work. Add material, we add steel to our work. And it will be at just one let's say the battery can to be at the battery can that's where our steel will be we go to okay so this the first part of this drawing the geometry adding the variables to our work okay so this is the first stage of our work where we've added our parameters variables and geometry and material. So we'll move to the next stage, which I will continue in a different video. So please follow up and let's be able to uh, do this work together. Okay, thank you.